I know we're here again very, very soon after I've just made one of these videos, but in my defense, I have a lot of pent up thrifting that I didn't get out of my system last year. So um, roll the thrifting montage, I guess. <laughs> into today's video I want to let you know that it's very kindly sponsored by Skillshare. I'll tell you a little bit more about this later but if you'd like to check out Skillshare for yourself click the link below to learn a little bit more. <laughs> so today's video is a thrifted homeware haul and like I said I've been doing a lot of thrifting recently partially because the weather's been bad and I've had nothing else to do and partially because I've really missed it. I really have. So I've got a few things I want to share with you today and quite a lot of these things are actually for this bedroom here. I'm going to do a mini makeover in here in the next couple of weeks so stay tuned if you want to see that but I went out with buying things for this room in mind. I wanted some curtains, duvet covers, Others. pillowcases, the works. Did I find any of those things? Absolutely not, no. No, I had to get those from H&M, but I, I did find some cool stuff. So <laughs> let's jump in and I'm gonna share with you my best thrift finds from the last few weeks. My only thrift finds from the last few weeks. Let's jump in. <laughs> the first thing I wanna share with you is for my hallway and it's possibly one of the coolest things I have thrifted in a long time, bar the pink fridge, of course, but this is an umbrella stand that I found in the local hospice furniture shop. It's a beautiful blue and white hand-painted ceramic piece. It's not an antique. There's a sticker on the bottom. Sorry, I've got something inside it. It's noisy. Um, I love this and I was so pleased to have found it. I snatched it up pretty quickly when I saw it in the store. I don't have an exact price for this because I bought four things in store and the guy sold it to me all for £15, but I would have paid £15 for this alone because I think it's so stunning. And I'm looking forward to putting it in my hallway. I think it matches with my house. It looks very Victorian and kind of cool. What's inside though? Um, a casualty. Looks like a coffee filter. It's not, I promise. At one point, this was a lampshade, I'm pretty sure. But when I was walking to my car, a big gust of wind took it out of my hand and ripped the shade from the base. So I'm hoping I can hot glue it together, but I bought this because I've seen a ton of these on Pinterest on the wavy lamp bases, and I just think they look so cool. So if I can try and fix it, we might be on to a winner, but that was one of the items of the four that totaled 15 pounds. The next item from this mini haul of 15 pounds is this little lampshade with a small base. Now I'm gonna re-donate the shade because it's not really my style, but I bought the base because I thought it was very low profile, kind of short, and I'm looking for something to put a very tall paper lampshade on. I bought one in Dunelm for eight pounds and I wanna try and make it into a floor lamp. So I'm gonna see if I can with this guy right here. I'm hoping it works, but we'll see if it does or doesn't. Not the most exciting part of my haul, but it's practical and you'll probably see it in my bedroom makeover if it works. And last but not least from this like mini section of 15 pounds, I picked up this jewelry box, which looks like this. And it's got a really beautiful design on the front. I love the little iridescent pieces. Ah, it's so pretty. There's a sticker on the bottom of this that says Dubai duty free. So I think it came from the airport. I Googled how much the price would be in British pounds. It's around 10 pounds. So it's obviously not a very special piece, but to me, I really love it. It's really beautiful and uh, just a bit interesting. So kind of cool. Anyway, I'm gonna put that there. The next thing I picked up is so cool. I can't contain myself, I love this. It's a beaded star lamp. And if you grew up in the 90s, like me, you probably had one of these or you wanted one of these. It definitely reminds me of something I've probably circled in the Argos catalog as a preteen alongside the groovy chick duvet cover and curtain set and the pom-pom door hanger. I'm so glad I finally got one. <laughs> 
I'm hoping I can style this in a slightly more grown up way, but I'm looking forward to seeing if I can use it in this room here. Looks a bit small to have as the main pendant light, but perhaps I can attach it to something like this or flip it and put it on a standing lamp. I'm not sure if that would work, it might look a bit odd, but I'm hoping we get some really nice reflections on the wall when the light shines through it. And this was only $3.99 in the British Heart Foundation, so a bargain. <laughs> Also, from the same shop for $2.99, I found a little green vase. I really love this colour of green, and I thought it would go once again in this bedroom with the vibe I'm trying to go for. I'm trying to go for lots of pops of colour, and I really love how this is kind of an irregular shape. It doesn't really look particularly spherical. I don't know. I don't know what to say about this other than I like it. Cool green glass. $2.99, another bargain. Did I find the curtains? No, but I found loads of stuff I didn't bargain for. Anyway, moving swiftly on. Another 90 throwback, also from the British Heart Foundation, is this cute little daisy mirror. This is, I just love this. It's got this kind of hammered metal silver edging and it's just a tiny mirror. Why were mirrors so tiny in the 90s? I don't know, <laughs> but this is 99p and I really want to use it as an accent piece in this room. I think it's kind of cool. I really like this. I'm super into anything that gives me a little nostalgic kick, but I'm just going to try and make sure not to overpower the room with too many youthful decorations. Ah, oh, you know what? So be it if I do. It's fun. I love it. Two items I picked up from the RSPCA shop were actually bought yesterday. So the first thing is this pink chenille blanket for this bedroom here. As you can see, I'm going for like a mixture of different colours and I thought this would be perfect. I was very disappointed I couldn't find any duvet covers, but this will do. I'm not sure if I love the tassels, but they're okay. And it's so stinking soft. I love it. I love the feeling of chenille. So I had to buy it. It was three pounds and a total bargain for this makeover. I also picked up a photo album. I've been looking for one for ages and I found this one for £2.50. Let me remove the less than ideal cover. <laughs> the cover on it said it was from WH Smith, so I'm sure it wasn't super cheap to begin with and it hasn't even been used. It's brand new, so I'm really excited to put a load of pictures in here this summer. I actually bought myself a couple of film cameras. One was an Ilford Sprite, which is kind of gives you the effect of a disposable camera without having to dispose of the camera, which is a great sustainable option. But I also got one a little bit of a step up, which I'm nervous about, but this I guess is also a thrift find because it was from eBay, it's second hand. This is a Canon EOS 600 film camera. It takes 35mm film. It's pretty old, I think they made these in the 80s. I've ordered the battery for it, I hope it arrives. I do live on the Isle of Wight and they don't like to ship batteries here, so we'll see what we can do. <laughs> So I haven't been able to try it yet, but I've got a ton of lenses that fit this body. And it was £14.95, which I think is a bargain. And because the camera was so cheap, if I mess up a couple of rolls of film, I won't be too disheartened. There's going to be a learning curve. I know how to shoot in manual, but I always worry with film because there's no going back. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I've been really nervous to dip my toe into film photography. I haven't done it since high school. So I actually tried to do a little bit of a refresher on Skillshare. Let me tell you a bit more about that. So Skillshare is sponsoring today's video. Thank you so much Skillshare. I've been using them for a while. They're an online learning platform with thousands of inspiring classes, whether you want to learn new skills or deepen some existing passions you might already have. From art to photography or anything you can think of like organization, there are courses for everything. And because it's tailored for learning, there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so that you can stay focused and follow your dreams. I've been taking a few courses about photography, like I mentioned, including one about documentary photography and this one also by Lomography, which is about film photography that I've really been enjoying. It's a great start for someone who's just beginning like me, which is what I really like about it. That being said, Skillshare has a range of courses, whether you're a hobbyist or a master, so there should be something here for everyone. If you've been thinking about trying Skillshare for yourself, but you haven't yet taken the leap, the first 1,000 people to click the link in my description box will get a free one month trial of Skillshare, so if you want to try it for yourself, definitely have a look, the link is down below.
Moving on, I've got a few more things that I want to share with you before we wrap up this video. I don't know why, but anytime I see a bowl like this, I gravitate towards it and I'm like, I have to have that. I've got tons of these around my house. I'm not sure if this one in particular is olive wood, but it's so lovely and smooth on the inside. And I think it's been hand carved. As you can see on the back, it's got all these ridges, which I think makes it look really interesting. And the imperfections on the wood remind me a little bit of burl wood, which I really like. I'm keeping my eye out for some burl wood pieces in the charity shops at the moment. Nothing has come to me yet, but in the meantime, I have my tiny bowl that can go with all of my other bowls in the kitchen and probably hold onions and garlic and get really smelly. But this is four pounds from the cancer research. If you watched my last thrift haul, you will know that I went a little bit lamp crazy. I love the warmth and the ambiance that lamps give and the ones that I got are in my sitting room and they make my room feel so cozy in the evening. I love it. So I'm going way overboard with lamps at the moment. I've already shown you one, I've got two more. And I've shown you two lampshades, one of which is broken, but I digress. <laughs> the first one of the two that I'm gonna show you next is this guy, and this one's only one pound, once again, from the British Heart Foundation. This is from the furniture store, and I bought it because it kind of looks like a daisy. We have a theme going on here. I think it needs a new light bulb because this one's kind of ugly, but I thought for a pound, it was a great little buy, even though from the front, it doesn't look super attractive. I might kind of try and just have it at an angle. I don't know if I'll be able to to do that but I'll try and once again I thought it would look great in this room it looks a little bit quirky and a little bit different and just like something that I would have pinned on Pinterest Pinterest really has me in a chokehold I'm not gonna lie to you so this, at least this was only a pound so cute I love it the next one I'm gonna show you also from the British Heart Foundation furniture store this one was a bit more expensive it was 10 pounds but I think for good reason it's really cool I love it look I can do this I love it it's great it needs a lampshade needs a new light bulb but so cool I'm gonna try and find the perfect lampshade for this and this one might go in my sitting room too honestly I'm just I love the lamps in there I love the ambiance count how many times I say ambiance and Pinterest I hate myself honestly but I really really like this and I'm very pleased that I bought it this was a great find this was in one of the bags so I'll show you why not um this was from the British Heart Foundation it was $1.99 on sale and it's a, a midi skirt I haven't done um a clothing thrift haul in a very long time let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that because I really really enjoy those videos I just don't know if people want to watch them but if I get one single comment telling me that you would like to see it I will do it <laughs> I will. Most of my clothes come from the charity shops and this is just one of the things. Except this. This is from Zara in the children's section. What a baller. Zara kids everyone. Zara kids. Anyway. <laughs> On that note, I think it's about time I wrap up this video. Please do let me know if you'd like to see some more charity shop hauls because honestly, any excuse, I will take it. If you found anything interesting in the charity shops recently, please let me know. I love to hear what you found. Let me know in the comments down below. And with all of that being said, thank you so much for watching. Happy thrifting. I will see you very soon with a bedroom makeover. So keep your eyes peeled. Take care. Bye.